Today we're gonna try 7-Eleven brand Loco Roller, specifically the chili and lime flavor. So I think that these are like 7-Eleven's response to Taki. 7-Eleven has a lot of their own brand stuff and sometimes it's not that bad. And today we're gonna try the Loco Rollers because I'm curious, even though I've never actually had Takis. So this might not be too great of a review in terms of a comparison because I've never actually had Takis, but I can tell you what these taste like without having experienced Takis, which maybe, you know, maybe a even more valid perspective. It depends on which, uh, philosophical point of view you want to take but anyways how much loco flavor can you handle uh rolled in bowls these chili and lime corn chips are on fire with flavor intense chili with a hint of lime will feed your need for spicy crunch loco rollers taste the loco heat so that sounds like somebody wrote that for like a commercial or something but it's just here on the back in case you want to read it but uh let's go ahead and taste it and see what we get i'm kind of curious how hot these will be because if they're too hot, I'm pretty much going to be out immediately. And the way that they are colored is not at all like... The, when I looked at these, I kind of figured that they would, you know, look like that. But they are bright red. They, I mean, they kind of do look like it, but they're a lot more brighter red than I was expecting. Which tells me they're probably going to be too hot for me. But here we go anyway. I'm going to take two and see what happens. Well, I'm going to have to be honest on this one. That these are just a little bit too spicy for me and my mouth is kind of burning right now it's not like super spicy but these are definitely out of my range i think if you're into spice you'll be fine but for me these are a little bit out of my comfort range in terms of what i want to eat these as a snack i don't think i'm going to finish this bag i'll probably give them to somebody who does eat spicy stuff but they're not that spicy i feel like it's just right out of my tolerance level but it's burning my mouth really bad right now so i'm gonna try to focus on the taste which is very strongly of lime which I like. I think that the flavor here is actually good. I, I like the taste of the chili. I like the lime. It's not a hint of lime. It's a strong taste of lime, but I think it works well. I even like the format. They're a nice crunch. They're a perfect shape. It's just a little bit too hot for me to handle personally. So I don't want to, I don't know what I want to do with this review. I think I'm going to give them a four um, because I think that if you can handle the heat, these are great. I, I like these a lot. It's just, I just cannot handle it personally. If they had like a, a wimp version, if they had local rollers, chili lime mild, I would buy them for sure. But these are just a little bit too hot for me personally. Um, but I think that they're a great flavor. So I'm going to give them a four. Check them out if you like spicy stuff. If you're not into spicy stuff, don't do this to yourself because it's pretty hot. I think it's kind of like on a hot Cheeto level. I think that's where I'd probably put it. So if you can handle hot Cheetos, you could probably handle these. But I personally don't don't handle hot Cheetos very well. So that's hopefully a good guideline for the people out there about the spice level. If you can handle hot Cheetos, go ahead and check these out. They're, they might even be a five for you. But for me, I'm going to give it a four just because I can't really finish this bag without burning my mouth off. And I don't, it's unpleasant for me. I know some people like the burning, but I don't like it. It's, it's very unpleasant. So that's 7-Eleven Local Rollers Chili Lime Flavor, and I will see you all next time.